Measles is making a comeback in the U.S. Over 900 cases have been reported nationwide, and nearly half of them come from here, Gaines County in West Texas, home to a large Mennonite community. Here's what we've known. The measles virus has spilled over state lines, with the cities identifying cases in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico sharing the same origin. And here's the thing about measles: it's highly contagious. A population would need 92 to 94 percent of vaccinated individuals to stop the virus from spreading. Measles is the most contagious virus known to humankind. An individual that's infected with measles can infect maybe 10 or 15 other people if they're susceptible. But the U.S. declared the elimination of measles back in 2000, meaning there was no longer measles spreading within the country, and new cases were only brought in from abroad. This win was largely thanks to the introduction of the MMR, that is measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. Before the 60s, the U.S. used to report around half a million measles cases each year. But this wall of immunity has cracked in recent years, largely because of declining vaccination. The CDC data showed the MMR vaccination rate among U.S. kindergartners has been sliding since 2019, which left roughly 280,000 kids at risk of infection during the last school year. In the Loop Independent School District in Gaines County, nearly 48% of students were exempt due to conscience-based reasons. 